Jesus equals 888 is the center of the entire story of God and the one to whom and for whom are all things. Hallelujah. And so we see right from the beginning God speaks exactly eight times to create everything in the entire universe. Wow. Eight times he speaks to the glory of Jesus equals 888. He speaks, we will look at them briefly uh, down at the bottom, but he speaks two times on day three and two times on day six with one time on the rest of the days to make a total of eight times in total over the days of creation. And now what is amazing about that is that the days occur in pairs and day three where he speaks two times is the pair of day six when he speaks two times. Day one pairs with day four. Day two pairs with day five and day three pairs with day six. You will see that in the creation account. Day one is let there be light and day four the pair of it is God creating the bodies, the lights in the heavens. A pair. Day two pairs with day five and day three is God first of all creating the land and the preparations of the land for the creatures to inhabit them and then day six he populates the land and ultimately his eighth statement is man made in his image. Amazing and if you add up all the spoken words of God in those eight statements you get mind-blowing numbers to the glory of Jesus equals 888. We are going to jump down and also Oh, so many, so many glories. In the entire creation account, it is going to be broken up into a large number of gems. But we are just talking about the fact that God speaks eight times to create everything in the entire universe. So here are the eight times precisely from the King James. The first, obviously, let there be light, and there was light. Then the firmament in the midst of the waters, and then let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let dry land appear and it was so the fourth time let the earth bring forth grass and the herb yielding seed and the fifth the sixth the seventh and look at this populating the land at the seventh let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind and then lo and behold the great creation of man is the eighth statement. And this is so huge, I believe, for man to get that he is the eighth. He is made in God's image. He is the eighth spoken word of God in the creation of all things. Let us make man in our image. Wow, after our likeness and let them have dominion over all. Mm. Wow, the eighth spoken word of God to create everything. So after he has spoken eight times, he is officially done. Such is the glory of the number eight for the glory of Jesus equals 888. And if you look, oh my, this will be a separate gem of gems altogether, but if you look in detail at this spoken word of God, this final eighth spoken word of God, mathematically it is so loaded and delightful that you will truly be amazed and um, my goodness you will see people as the level eight creation that they are in case you haven't up until now you with your eight bones on your face and your eight times two teeth on the top and your eight times two teeth on the bottom for 40 bones perfectly on your face and the 240 bones perfectly in your entire body and the 24 that perfectly make up your back your spine divided into three segments of eight eight plus eight plus eight to the glory of Jesus equals eight at eight and on and on and on your human anatomy is stamped with eight just like you're breathing oxygen element eight to stay alive.
So, and uh, just a few examples. The fact that God says, let us make man in our image. I mean, that word image is very, very strong. It equals exactly 160, which is uh, 8 times 20, obviously. And a bunch of details in this verse, but the phrase, our image, divides by 8. Image divides by 8. And the entire first statement, let us make man in our image, <laughs> is 688, which divides by 8. And there are many, many brilliant gems in this verse. And of course, one of my favorites is that male plus female equals 8 times 48. And of course, Adam plus Eve equals 8 times 8. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Wow, we are made in the image of God in the eighth statement of God in creating all things. So, that statement alone, you can tell to anyone on earth, even your children, you can say, did you know that God speaks exactly eight times to create everything in the universe and that Jesus, his son, equals triple eight exactly? Glory to the king. Keep breathing element eight to, steal, to stay alive and watch all these videos. Amen.